Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some epic updates to some of your favorite emulators. I'm going to be taking a look at the likes of Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Sword and Shield, but to start things off, I'm going to be looking at The Last of Us and a huge update it has just received on RPCS3. So if anybody has seen any past coverage of this game on my channel, you would probably remember that this game never really ran the best or rendered the best on this PlayStation 3 emulator. In the past few weeks though, this has drastically changed. They fixed a ton of issues, like in this loading screen, it no longer has horrible RGB flickering all over the place. They have massively fixed its performance due to a patch that creator WhatCookie made, which you'll find instructions on using down in the description of this video. And on top of that, they have fixed a ton of the graphical bugs that were happening in gameplay. Just look at this. In gameplay, rendered as well as it is, I'm running at close to 30 frames per second, something I've never seen in this intro section of the game. Not even on really, really hacky builds that were only made to run this game alone. What you're watching right now is the latest master build from the RPCS3 website, and while it does drop down in performance, you'll see when it switches camera angle, it's like 17, 18 frames per second. But upon going back to older videos of mine, it was running at like, four five and six frames per second in this exact same area with horrendously broken graphics in the past now that's not to say graphics are perfect you can see like with these shadows there are still a lot of like weird flickering in the game but to be honest aside from that there's not really too much wrong with the graphical output of this title now as i said they did fix a ton of the rgb flickering issues this is especially apparent on any kind of effects that have like smoke or explosions around them previously it was just a completely broken mess of vertex explosions all over the place and now it's basically perfectly rendered explosions perfectly rendered smoke and tons of the lighting sources in the game have been fixed anybody who's played this game in the past can attest to the fact that it was super super unstable many people even had issues booting the game and even getting it to its title menus looking through some posts over on the rpcs3 discord it's pretty clear that the game has seen a significant stability improvement on top of these graphical and performance improvements also these improvements are not just present in the early stages of the game. This is chapter seven, I believe, the university. And again, you can see its graphics are super well rendered. We don't have any weird lighting flickering or weird black dots all over the screen like we had before. And performance is mind-blowingly better with the current lowest frame rate being higher than the previous highest frame rate when last I tested this game. If I turn my camera around in this area, you should see it drop down to around 15 or 16 frames per second and that's pretty much as low as it's going to go in this area an absolutely crazy performance improvement everyone would have to agree while the game is several orders of magnitude better in both performance and stability i'm still not going to say that it's playable or at least it's not enjoyably playable on the emulator just yet the seemingly random nature of the crashes and soft locks just make the game not really too much fun to play because just at any moment you're at risk of just the game freezing and like deleting all of your progress so until they fix those issues this game is going to remain in the in-game status and not playable staying on the topic of unbelievable compatibility rendering and performance improvements let's take a look at luigi's mansion 3 which is now considered both fully playable and basically perfectly rendered on the nintendo switch emulator reusing while the changes shown in this video are not currently merged to the master version of this emulator they are all currently present in their angel branch which has been dubbed their gpu 2.0 update by the community and if you want to try out this build with all of these changes i will as always leave a link to the version or build number i used down in the description of this video and if you need more additional information on getting this emulator set up or running you should head over to my discord and we'll help you out there as well but just look at this they've fixed absolutely everything all the lighting issues all the shadow issues all the particles are now perfectly rendered and on top of all of this they also fixed the dynamic shadow casting that comes off your torch like you can see when i shine it on this card here the game also doesn't have any graphical bugs when transitioning from room to room or when trying to use the elevator and unfortunately while the performance and i'd say smoothness isn't as good as it currently is on yuzu the fact that you are able to move from area to area and because the graphics are rendered so well 
and to be honest the performance isn't even that bad after you've cast your shaders this game is considered way more playable on Ryujinx than it currently is on Yuzu. Just look at how good the graphics are. Luigi's Mansion 3 is by far one of the most appealing looking games on a Nintendo Switch and I'm super, super happy to see it rendering so well through emulation. So at the start of the video, I said we were going to take a look at Pokemon Sword and Shield, so let's do that right now. In the past week alone, there have been a whole host of graphical fixes and bug fixes in general with this game. They now have correctly rendered skyboxes, correctly rendered water, and while there are still a few graphical issues and a few missing in-game battle effects, the game itself is running and rendering way better than it did in the past. As I pointed out in my last video, it also doesn't suffer the soft locking issues that are currently present on Yuzu emulator, meaning that at least playability wise, the game is in a much better state than it currently is on Yuzu. Again, as with Luigi's Mansion 3, the game's performance is quite a bit slower than it is currently on Yuzu, but hopefully with future optimizations, this is going to drastically change also. On the test system I used for this video containing my 3700X and a GTX 1080 ATTI, it ran at anywhere from around 8 to 15 frames per second in the open world and is pretty much 25 to 30 frames per second in battles, so at least in respect to enjoyable playability levels, the game is okay on a system like this, but anything under it is going to be a lot slower. If that is the case for you, you are unfortunately going to have to wait for future optimizations to Ryujinx or for Yuzu emulator to fix the soft locking issues that are currently occurring on their end. As always, when anything changes in respect to any of these games' performance, compatibility, or just general usability, I will be sure to let you guys know as soon as possible. And again, if you guys have any games you would like to see me test on Ryujinx, RPCS3, or indeed any of the new updates that we've gotten to Yuzu or CMU emulators, please do let me know down below in the comment section, and I will test them out for you absolutely no problem at all. That's going to be it for this latest episode of Epic Emulation Updates. Once again guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button down below. If you enjoy these types of videos, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed to me, please, please remember to hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a new upload. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.